the Western Conference semifinals, game three. Indianapolis have showed up hungry and determined to fight for what they believe is rightfully theirs. Will they be able to break the stalemate and come out on top against Kansas City? Round two of the NBA playoffs continue, coming right up. And here we are, broadcasting live, game three of the Western Conference semifinals. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, in today's NBA, superstars often change teams. Commissioner Silver said, quote, used to be when someone said, Larry, you'd say Boston. Magic, you'd say L.A. Jordan, Chicago. But that was a different time. Now some worried about the change, but with trades bringing publicity, he said, I think we've all changed our view. Brian? Thanks, Allie. Now the starting group for the visitors. as he finishes inside. And that gets us rolling. Whew, what a tremendous atmosphere in here tonight. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner, but we'll just have to see. Here's Lawson. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. A nice shot by Smith. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Cook. Fades and shoots. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Here's Henry. Into the lane. Lays it up and banks it in. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Here's Lawson. Drilled from 11 feet out. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Henry. From 11 feet away. A nice shot by Tatum. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Here's Lawson. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Five on the clock. Oh, a special move before that shot. He has six. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath.
surrounded by pain. Pass to Morgan. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. Now here's Payne. Here's Evans. Back to Payne. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Clock at four. Puts up a three. He drops it from range. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Kansas City, they've gone five of five in this quarter. Solid. Pass to Morgan. Shoots a fadeaway. And he gets it to go. So it's the home team now. They trail by one. Here's Evans. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. For Kansas City, they've got all six shots to fall in the first. Defended by Payne. Pass to Morgan. Five to shoot. From deep. Rebounded by Payne. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Now here's Payne. Here's Evans. Cans it from short range. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Defended by Payne. Pass to Snow. Tries it from 16, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Nice ball movement there, delivered the pass right on time. Indianapolis, they've gone a perfect seven for seven. Here's Ruiz. 
from 12 feet, and he parries his first look. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Wells, descended by Payne. Here's Wells, and he parries his first look. Oh, neither of these teams can miss. At the same time, neither is playing a ton of defense either. We've got 123 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Payne. Count it. Payne's got five. They have no answer defensively inside. A minute nine left in the first. He takes it in. Here's Wells. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. That one's good. This game is all even. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. There's a screen. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. just in time well done he didn't even look worried about the time on the clock nice way to end a quarter and that concludes a high scoring first quarter we're all tied up and we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. Lawson covered by Smith. Pass to Watson. To the inside. Nails the baby hook. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Henry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Here's Cook. Hounded by Tatum. Pass to Lawson. And he drives in. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Tatum with a screen. Here's Henry. Eleven feet out, and the jumper falls for him. Six points for him. Here's Lawson. Give him eight. Pass.
pass to Cook. Fade away. That one goes in. A very high percentage look when the D is nowhere to be seen. Second quarter play with around two minutes gone so far. He recognizes players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Here's Tatum. Smith outside. To the paint. And Tatum, the bucket on the assist by Smith. Tatum's got six. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Evans. Right side love. Just five to shoot. To the left side wing. Here's Cook. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Smith inside. Love's there. A nice shot by Smith. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. To the middle. Pass to Evans. Here's Cook. Here's Evans. Covered by Smith. To the wing on the left. Out to the wing. Let's it fly. And he buries his first look. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. On the take. And he comes up with a bucket. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. For Indianapolis, they've gotten off to a sensational 5 for 5 start of the second quarter. making some changes here.
Payne with it. He's got five. basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Here's the pick. Down low. Six to shoot. Inside. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. He's got six. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Here's Morgan. from deep drills it from deep just outstanding distribution this is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see outside pain great start so far three of three in this one and the lead just keeps changing hands five times already and we still haven't gotten out of the first half Kansas City, they've gone an outstanding 7-of-7 seven seven so far in the second quarter. With the step back. Here's the teardrop. Henry, that one's good. Give him eight. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. A minute 37 left in the second. Here's Payne. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Payne's got four points in the quarter. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. Here's Henry. Give him eight. Ooh, he's locked in. Green just fit the shot in his many attempts. Ooh, he's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. Here's Lawson. Give him eight. Driving inside. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in his many attempts. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. 50 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Here's Henry. He's got 10. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. He's been meticulous on offense, and it's paid off with a flawless shooting percentage for him so far in this game. Here's Lawson. He's got 10. Takes one from 10 feet. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's 6 for 6. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat towards like, man, this has been a barn burner. 
Here's Henry. 12 points for him. Up in time. And it's in. Oh, nails the buzzer beater. Are you kidding? What an ending to the first half. A buzzer beating three to take the lead. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Up by two. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome all. Game three, and it's a real halftime cliffhanger. Playoff atmosphere. Hostile environment, man. They're handling the pressure, putting themselves in a good spot to win. Hard to focus with thousands of fans screaming at you. They've stayed in it. They've stayed confident. They were able to take a game on the road, capturing home court advantage. Shaq, how important is game three for them? Well, game three is always huge. They took care of business on the road. Now they have to I'm gonna hit you guys with a big word. Now they have to capitalize on it. Ooh. Well, it won't be easy, but I'm going to make a prediction, guys. You ready? No, but Whoever go ahead. Whoever wins this game three, they win the series. That is bold, Kenny. I sort of like it. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. with you folks as this exciting Western Conference semifinal game rolls on. Here's Lawson, covered by Smith. Here's Lawson, takes the 12-footer and hits it. He's got 14 and four feet of the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Now Smith. Eleven feet out, and he hits it. Smith's got his third bucket of the night. And that one was on a platter. He won't miss those very often. Here's Cook. Driving to the basket. Lays it up and banks it in. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Up top, Smith. He has six. Here's Henry. Pass to Tatum. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Tatum's got eight points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Lawson. He's got 14. From the low block. Good. Off the glass. A clean start to the half for them, knocking down their first three shots. We're just about two minutes into the second half now. Shots good by Morgan. Nine points in the game. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Here's Evans. Pass 
to Cook. And the layup is good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The visitors with the ball. Smith right side. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Morgan. And that was drained from the low block. Their execution after halftime has been excellent, making their first four. Here's Evans. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Here's Smith. What a terrific move that is. Smith's got a good heads-up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. Third quarter action. And just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pass to Cook. Here's Evans to the left side wing. Here's Cook. Give him eight points now. Shot clock at five. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Yeah, they haven't missed a shot since the break. They just what a tremendous job making the necessary adjustments at halftime. Pass to Morgan. They set the pick. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. the NBA leaders in shooting from the floor. For Indianapolis, they've gotten all six of their shots to fall. Talk about a perfect start to the half. Here's Payne. Nine points in the game. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in as many attempts. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Defended by Payne. Clock at six. Banked it in off the glass. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? For Indianapolis, they've gone a perfect seven for seven and looking strong in this third quarter. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Defended by Payne. And he converts the layup. He has six. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. From nine feet, and he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. A minute 53 left in the third quarter. 
from 10 feet away. And the basket is good. 143 left to play in the third. There's the drive. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Payne's got eight points here in the quarter. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Defended by Payne. 110 left in the third. Good work there as it goes. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's Conley. Pass to Lawson. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Just four to shoot. And it's good with time running down the shot clock he's got 18 and his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight he's just riding the wave of momentum right now getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side here's Henry 15 points in the game from deep three-point range. And he can't get that one. Some impressive scoring and still a quarter to go. Who will gain the upper hand in the fourth? And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. What a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. With the floater. And it's good on the layup. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. We've got Smith, and it's Henry in at the three. Stolen in transition. Here they come. And he lays it in off the breakaway. Well, when you're careless with the ball, that's what happens. It ends up going the other direction. And there's no defense for that. Live ball turnovers, they are the worst. Here's Lawson. And there's the drive over Smith. And that one's good. Lawson, 20 points for him. 
And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. You know. Here's Lawson. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Going inside. Up and in on the layup. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for it. To the left wing. Here's Henry. Pass to Morgan. Smith outside. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Smith's got four points this quarter. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Lawson, covered by Smith. And that one's good. Lawson. Man, where's the effort on the defensive end? You've got to play harder than that. Yeah, these teams have kind of decided to fight this battle on scoring alone. There's not that much intensity on defense. Tatum with a screen. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Henry. They set the screen. Here's an eight-footer. Oh, he is cooking right now. Ten for 11 from the field. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Pass to Cook. Here's Watson. Here's Lawson, covered by Smith. And that one's good, Lawson. And they've really relied on him down the stretch. For Kansas City, they've gotten off to a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in the fourth. Here's Henry. Tatum with a screen. Here's Henry. And he banks in the layup. Give him 23. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Here's Lawson. And it's good for two. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Pass to Henry. Tries a 10-footer, and he gets the bucket. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Here's Cook. Soft touch off the glass. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. For Kansas City, they've gotten all seven of their shots to go. Impressive here in the fourth. Smith outside. Pass to Henry. Back to Smith. Here's Henry. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Here's Lawson, covered by Smith. Here's Lawson. Pass to Cook. Tries the nine-footer. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather.
All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to hear Kansas City's coach going over their plan during the break. He loves their effort tonight. He said, quote, this is how we wanted to come into this, looking to push the action, dictating the tempo. We are where we need to be to even things up. Of course, he's talking about the season series. Guys, back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. against Payne. Pass to Henry. Tatum with a screen. Smith outside. Here's Henry. Smith left side. Six to shoot. On the wing, Tatum. And right on target. That one's good. And you can see why they put him in these spots. He's able to use his size to get the shot he wants. That's just smart basketball. Late in the game, they see a favorable matchup, and they take advantage. the home team now trailing by four here's Lawson lets a floater go and the shot goes 30 points in the game and you look at how they've come out in the second half it's almost like night and day and they look like a completely different team I wonder what coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum chain Here's Morgan. And the lamp is good off the glass. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Lawson. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Man, where's the effort on the defensive end? You've got to play harder than that. Yeah, these teams have kind of decided to fight this battle. Oh, I'm scoring alone. There's not that much intensity on defense. And there's a pick. Pass to Snow. Count it! Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Lawson. With the teardrop. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Here's Morgan. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up there. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Guys, what do you think? If they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out.
20 seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Watson. Here's Cook. Fires for three. It falls! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one. Here's Smith, and they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And an intentional foul right there. Second personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Kansas City, Matt Henry. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. So he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Couldn't have asked for anything better there. Only a three can tie it now. From deep. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to OT, but they come up empty-handed. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Yeah, game three feels like a game seven if the series is tied. It has a huge impact. They're in the driver's seat now as long as they don't lose their focus. Time for us to say goodbye. We hope you enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.